Hi everyone, welcome to another engaging lecture by Labyrinth Academy. We're diving into cystic fibrosis, a genetic condition that's a core topic for Pearson and Excel AS level biology. By the end of this video, you'll understand what causes cystic fibrosis, how it affects the body, and its relevance to your studies. Let's get started. What is cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis, or CF, is an inherited disorder caused by a mutation in the CFTR gene, which stands for Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator. This gene is found on chromosome 7 and codes for a protein that regulates the movement of salt and water across cell membranes. You might not fully understand this definition yet, but don't worry, you'll understand it later in the video. Now let's talk about how it happens. In people with CF, the mutation occurs in chromosome 7 in the CFTR gene. The mutation causes the CFTR protein to malfunction due to the amino acid sequence that codes for the CFTR protein being incorrect. A mutation in any part of the gene can affect the CFTR protein. Another thing to know is that all these mutations are recessive. This leads to the production of thick, sticky mucus instead of the thin, watery mucus normally found in the body. Next, let's discuss how this results in thick, sticky mucus. This is a normal airway epithelium. You can see the active chloride pump, which pumps chloride into the cell, and the CFTR protein, which moves chloride out. Water moves out of the cell to keep the mucus normal. But look at this diagram, where the airway is affected by cystic fibrosis. Here, similar to the other diagram, the chloride pump works the same, but the CFTR protein no longer functions, so chloride does not move out. This results in more water moving into the cell by osmosis, causing the mucus to become thick and sticky. Hopefully, you now understand why mucus becomes thick and sticky. How is cystic fibrosis inherited? CF is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern. This means a person needs two copies of the faulty gene, one from each parent, to develop the condition. If someone inherits only one faulty gene, they are a carrier but don't show symptoms. As you can see in the genetic diagram, there is a 1 in 4 chance of inheriting cystic fibrosis. Approximately 1 in 25 people in the UK are carriers of the CF gene, making it a significant genetic condition to understand. Now we'll discuss the effects of cystic fibrosis on the body. Cystic fibrosis affects multiple systems in the body, primarily the respiratory, digestive, and reproductive systems. Number one, respiratory system. The thick mucus clogs airways, leading to difficulty breathing and chronic lung infections. Over time, this can cause lung damage and reduce lung function. Two, digestive system. Mucus blocks the pancreas, preventing digestive enzymes from reaching the intestines. This results in poor nutrient absorption, weight loss, and malnutrition. Three, reproductive system. In men, CF often leads to infertility due to blockages in the vas deferens. In women, thick cervical mucus can make conception more difficult. 4. Sweat glands. The faulty CFTR protein prevents proper salt reabsorption, causing excess salt to be lost in sweat. This makes the skin taste salty and increases the risk of dehydration. Now let's discuss management and treatment. Currently, there's no cure for CF, but treatments aim to manage symptoms and improve quality of life. These include physiotherapy, to clear mucus from the lungs, medications, such as antibiotics for infections and drugs like Ivacaftor that target the faulty CFTR protein, dietary support, enzyme supplements and high-calorie diets to aid digestion and maintain weight, lung transplants for severe cases. Finally, to wrap up, cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition with profound effects on the body. Understanding its cause, symptoms, and treatments is essential for both biology and broader healthcare awareness. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to Labyrinth Academy, and leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your studies.